Welcome back, everybody. My name is Off on a Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be talking about the Dragonfly, which is the next step on our boss checklist, which I want to talk about how I think the Dragonfly should, yes, get a little bit of a buff. Now, keep in mind that I know that a lot of you might not actually have fought the Dragonfly yet or have been very scared to do so. If you're playing solo, the Dragonfly could be a little bit of a trouble, but if you're playing multiplayer, well, you might be looking at it going, well, yeah, I could see why the Dragonfly needs to have a little bit of a change up. Okay, let's talk about why that is. Before showcasing it or anything like that, if you haven't fought the Dragonfly, go out there and try it. It's very fun and you probably will get killed a few times before actually accomplishing it. But if you are a veteran when don't start, with Don't Start Together, you obviously know the routine when it comes to the actual Dragonfly. The way that it works is Dragonfly will come over here and begin to attack you, and you can retaliate by hitting it too. Although the Dragonfly does release a lot of damage to you, you are able to actually kill it fairly simple by doing a few different things. Now, I say simple, but of course there are other ways to do this. When you get the Dragonfly attacking you, most people set up a wall from the magma ponds from here to here. What that does is it actually causes the magmas, or the larva, I should say, or magmas, the larva that the Dragonfly will release upon getting hit to certain stances, that'll go out and attack you and eventually combust, causing a crazy amount of fire damage. Now, the problem right now is the wall tactic is pretty foolproof, meaning that if you do it properly, it actually keeps the larvas at bay, which is a pretty big problem, sorry, a pretty big thing that Dragonfly relies on to try to kill you. So sometimes a few of them will sleep, uh, you know, sneak by, but most of the time you're pretty much okay as long as you put the walls in a certain format. And then from there, the Dragonfly will come over there and a group of people can just basically hit it with a bunch of hand bats until it goes in rage mode, which could be countered by easily playing a pan flute or a device that will put any enemies to sleep. Once it does that, it'll pacify the Dragonfly real quick, thus resetting its actual tactics of attacking you. The Dragonfly will go over here, release some more larva, the larva won't go anywhere, and it'll come back here. Okay, if you've never seen the wall tactic before, I would probably suggest playing a little bit of DST and experiencing it for yourself. Or if you want to watch any of my previous videos where I showcase how to set it up, that works as well. The Dragonfly tactic is very simple, but I think that it needs to be changed up. Right now, if you approach the Dragonfly in any way, it's going to start chasing me around and of course start following me because it's detecting that I'm within its area. However, there are obviously easy ways of killing the Dragonfly, and I've killed it so many times, especially even before day 5. Sometimes I've even killed it on day 1 with a ton of Wigfrids with not even using the wall at all. So there are easy ways of killing it. Once again, this comes back to changing the way that the Dragonfly actually can attack you. So when I'm referring to this is the Dragonfly's maneuvers are you can pretty much get 6 hits in and then immediately try kiting. The Dragonfly will follow you around, so if you're not using the wall tactic, it will eventually follow you. Then it'll go get an angry and reset and its HP gets all reset and it goes back to where it was 2 seconds ago. So how could it change up? Well. I think Clay can make it so if it does detect, or if the larva detects a wall, perhaps the larva could actually go all the way around a wall, making the wall actually worse, or maybe they can actually hop over a wall if it's inside of, you know, an area where it's being blocked. Not that the larva need to get past you, and that's what actually would cause a bit of a problem, because there are obviously other ways to counteract the larvas if you're just using like an ice staff or something like that. However, I do think more tactics with the Dragonfly could be had. For example, the Dragonfly could have an alternate attack pattern instead of once again just hitting you every now and then. Perhaps if it was in a large group, in rage mode could not be countered by the pan flute. This sounds crazy, but if it wasn't countered by the pan flute, then that would force the characters or players to actually get something different than just a simple use of a pan flute, which can be found in the wilderness, which actually is useful, especially if you're new to DST. So yes, without getting too complicated and making it harder for the new players and don't starve together, that would alter that and make it even harder for those players. So I wouldn't really want to do that again. This comes down to another year and don't starve together, meaning once you survive a year, perhaps that the dragonfly can change or similar to the crab king by fighting in a certain tactic or style or whatever or certain time of year perhaps yes certain time of year would be an alternate format for the dragonfly so for example fight in the winter time it has a different attack style fight in the summertime you get the idea anyways that's kind of what i'm thinking as great as the dragonfly is once you've fought it over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times it gets so tedious that you could basically just sit around put the wall up and eventually have a few people sit around drinking coffee holding control f and the dragonfly will eventually just die very fast and yeah that's basically the fight 
when you see it in action, you're going to believe it because obviously it's just one of those things where if you've done it before, you're like, yeah, I totally understand where you're coming from. If you've never fought the dragonfly before, you're in for a treat because it probably will kill you a few times before you can finally defeat it. So just be cautious of it. But regardless, I do think it could use some sort of an actual buff. This is one of those mobs that I absolutely love killing because it gives you one of the coolest items in the game, the furnace, which gets used probably more than any other item that you receive from a boss in DST. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope it does get eventually changed, and I hope that Clay eventually catches on and says, you know what, some of these bosses do need a little bit of a revamp. Be nice to see it happen. Who knows if it will. If you want to see it happen, post down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.